I came to Job Corps to have a career and to be something in life. I enrolled because I was getting into a lot of trouble and no other place would accept me. Job Corps definitely changed my life 100% the turnaround. It's a second chance for a miracle. Students coming out of Job Corps are giving back to the community that is giving to them when they go into the program. It's one of the few programs that the federal government gets involved with with youth that really shows a return on the investment. It's good to kind of get away from the city and find myself in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> This is about a war our country has made up its mind to fight. The war on poverty. It was in 1964, President Johnson's War on Poverty program, and uh, they won the pattern a lot of the anti-poverty program after the CCC program. The Civilian Conservation Corps of the 1930s gave jobs, housing, and training to Americans who were put out of work by the Great Depression. Camps under the so-called 3C program were built on public lands and dozens of successful conservation projects were the result. In 1964, this legacy was the model for the new Job Corps, created by the Economic Opportunity Act, signed by President Lyndon Johnson. I'm pleased to announce today that the War on Poverty is setting Job Corps conservation camps that provide skills and education to our youngsters who are out of school and out of work. This is your day. The program's first director was R. Sergeant Shriver. The first Job Corps civilian conservation centers were run by the USDA Forest Service and other federal land management agencies. Some were in the original 1930s 3C camp locations. Jack Denema led the Forest Service's early efforts. Getting those young people out working with their hands with an ax and a saw the fresh air, seeing the scenery, it gave them a work ethic. They knew how to survive in a group environment and work together. I think that was a real important part of it. Doug Lease, one of the first center directors for the Forest Service, saw results quickly. They learned work skills and they were ended up being hard workers. We began to get them also involved in community activities and it made a very positive relation for them with local people. Today, the U.S. Forest Service manages 28 Job Corps civilian conservation centers on 22 national forests and grasslands in 18 states. Civilian conservation centers were developed to help solve the unemployment issues that we were dealing with and uh, the degradation of our natural resources. Those things haven't changed. We're giving young people a variety of opportunities to become gainfully employed and our students are participating in natural resource conservation management on our national forest. So we serve the public as well. Funded by the U.S. Department of Labor, these CCCs are educating more than 6,000 students aged 16 to 24. They receive free housing, high school diploma or GED, and training in one or more of some 30 trades. After graduation, students receive help with job placement. About 80% of graduates pursue a career, higher education, or military service. Students that choose to come to our civilian conservation centers really are coming to an environment that is safe, clean, and conducive to training and learning. So what's it like during a typical stay at a Forest Service Job Corps Civilian Conservation Center? See for yourself. I see the Pine Ridge Job Corps Center as an integrated part of our national forest and grassland system here. Job Corps students, as a part of their training program in masonry, are working on our portal sign. And then, plus 320. What's that give you? I went to Pine Ridge Job Corps. And the day before graduation, they said, hey, you know, you want to work at the Forest Service office? Okay. <laughs> People saw that I was doing a good job in the trade that I was in, which was business. So they thought that I would be a good prospect for a job here. It is really hard to overstate the value, not only the employment base, obviously, for our community, but the opportunity to bring those young people into our community. We have projects that they work on, everything from the building you're standing in, um, they helped build 25 years ago to uh, community projects downtown. 
You know, the Job Corps has been a part of this community for many years, and we see it as a wonderful addition. What are you going to We provide RNs to teach the Health Occupations program at the Job Corps. And then when they come to us, they get the actual hands-on practical experience of working with patients in a real setting. Welding just amazed me in many different ways. I've learned a lot in what I want to use that for is my future and what's ahead of me, maybe college, MS training, put that in use of what I've learned. And it does give me confidence every day, so I know I could do it. I'm using this trade, to, you know, kind of as a ladder, a stepping stone to further my career in a different trade, actually. I'll be going to advanced training, hopefully working towards transportation and communications. It's all about your attitude, that your attitude is ready for learning at entry level, and that uh, I have something I can work with. I may not be able to help all of them, but to get a few to call me back and tell me thanks, and know that they're being productive out in society, that's the reward for me. Before there wasn't a lot of structure in my life and here it's very structured and they teach you everything that you need to be successful and productive and happy. <laughs> a woman can do what a man can do and I prove it. I'm a trade foreman so I'm in charge of everybody in my trade. You get big muscles lifting those buckets and <laughs> show them boys off. High school wasn't really my thing. I barely even got a diploma, so I do feel lucky to be here. And it's teaching me how to be a better person and about having responsibilities. And it makes me feel more confident. Being able to go out and do activities here. It's really experience about relying on others and pushing your comfort zone. And they achieve more than they thought they could. It's unique, you know, you don't get to do this in a lot of different places. It's fun. I think it's pretty nice. Exhilarating. A lot of adrenaline pumping. And we can throw in some learning in with the training. That's about growing as a person, so that if you do something that's outside of your comfort zone, you can do more with your life. Yay! <laughs> I'm terrified of heights, but every time I do something like this, I conquer my fear a little more. So, sight life, you have to conquer your fears. This is the carpentry shop. They start in here learning the hand tools and the power tools. They have a lot of little projects they have to make. They get through in here, and they're really proud of that, and then they do the construction on the center, sometimes off center. 37 years ago, I went through it. I dropped out of high school, went to Job Corps, got my GED, got in the Carpenters Union, and I love teaching these guys. I can't think of one construction company that would hire a five foot six female with no experience and give them a chance to learn on the job. And it's a challenge and it's awesome, it's fun. I've had kids come from just all kinds of backgrounds. For a lot of them, this is just an opportunity they're not gonna get any place else to make them successful. And I could take a high school dropout and make them employable and make them, make them a good citizen that way. Well, we're basically taking care of the beetle kill, which is the trees and stuff that the beetles kill. We got to cut them down and cut them apart, keep them from spreading more beetles, killing more trees. After we cut down the trees, then we feed them into the chipper truck because it cuts it into fine pieces and it kills all the beetles inside of it. In my opinion, our, our mission is to help the Forest Service with their mission. Whether, whether we're doing welding for gate closures or building picnic tables, we clean the campgrounds, we, we remove hazard trees from the campgrounds, we thin the forest and, and get them into the right mix of trees and densities that they should be. It's just a perfect relationship.
I stack these kids at the Colburn Job Corps Center against anybody coming out of any system. If you truly want to come in and make something of yourself, we will get you there. 24-7, you stay here, we'll make you successful. The training we give dollar for dollar can't be beat anywhere in the country. Any other program can't match what we do. Carpentry, I thought it would be good for me and I like the hands-on work. Job Corps helped me achieve my potential by showing me the better person I can be by giving me different skills and traits that I didn't know I had and that brought that out. We also learned about integrity, responsibility, discipline, things that most people my age don't actually get right away. With robotics, you get to hang out with some of the coolest people in the world. You get to put your hands into a robot, a bunch of metal pieces, hook up wires and watch what you dream come to life. Job Corps for me is a confidence booster, as well as ability for me to grow my own set of wings. There's just no end of things I could give back to the center. Job Corps is not only a second chance for life, it's second family. They're always here for you and you know they are. I love working. It's so fun. The physical body work is painful, but it is fun and I love it. Every time I build something, I'll walk past that and be like, I did that. You see those windows over there? I put those windows in. <laughs> we also preach a connection to this country. There's no other place in the world that has systems like Job Corps, where you have us connected to the land, to the grasslands, to the national forest. At Wolf Creek, we have business, painting, construction, carpentry, culinary arts, forestry. I'm in the forestry trade because I love to be in nature, I love to help the nature, I love to learn about it, and I've always been interested since I was knee-high to the grasshopper. We're working on a road that they're going to do a timber sale on, and we're maintaining the roads and getting them fixed up so that they can come up here and be able to drive on them safely. While we're out here, we talk about the different species of trees we're working on, we talk about the plants. Evergreen huckleberry. There are some huckleberries on the other side of the road over there I was pulling off earlier and eating them. There's all kinds of different things that we learn while we're out here working, so it's not just cutting trees down. Food service, like most career paths, it takes a passion, and then it takes a desire, and then it takes flexibility. Here at Wolf Creek, we have our own restaurant, which is a Little River Cafe, and we run it three days a week as an incentive for volunteerism on center. And we try and recognize people that give back, and they enjoy coming up and having what they call a real meal. Cooking's pretty fun, I like cooking. A friend of mine said it was a great place and the instructor was really good, so I listened to him and he was right. I just enjoy cooking at home, so I thought I'd try it here and it sounded like fun and it is. You can take and convert the skills to whatever the employer wants, wherever the employer is. I just help them define what they want to do and then help them market themselves in those areas. Job Corps is critical for our community because we have such a high unemployment rate. 14% for Douglas County is the highest in Oregon, and we need students who can come out of Job Corps as skilled workers and fill the void for some of those major areas like construction, like plumbing, like automotive. And so the trades help fill that gap. We have a high success rate of getting students trained and out and getting a job. The Pink Job Corps Center is located in the Pisgah Forest of North Carolina. Our Advanced Fire Management Program is uh, one of a kind. We're the only center in the nation that has that program. All your hose is butterfly. They complete a full year of training. They go on 
uh, prescribed burns, they go on wildfires, they can also do cleanup after hurricanes or tornadoes, and the majority of our students in that program do get hired by the Forest Service, so they become Forest Service employees. Water coming! Right now they are working on uh, some engine training. We're working on basic progressive hose lays, which is a tactic used in fighting fires when we're using engines to get hose in and deliver water. How to lay them out properly, how to wrap them up properly. It's hard physical work and as well as you know mental, but I, I love it, you know. I always like a good challenge. We're also learning hand signals, how to communicate with each other just how to get the water to the fire safely. It's a great experience. I'm really fortunate to be out here. Job Corps has been, to me, has been a completely life-changing experience. It's, uh, you know, there's, there's good times, there's bad times, but it's really taught me doors sometimes will be open. If you don't take advantage of them, they could be closed on you. If you go to Job Corps, keep your mind open to all the possibilities. I went there and I didn't know anything about the world of forestry. I didn't know who the Forest Service was, but when I learned who they were and what they do, I realized how important it was to our society and I wanted to be a part of it. So stay focused, work hard, and you can go far. We're on a beautiful location in the Great Smoky Mountains. Our students do a lot of programs with the National Forests of North Carolina. And we have a relationship with our uh, community and their programs as well. The Econolifty Job Corps students really are using this as a unique opportunity to practice hands-on the skills that they're learning in the classroom. So here at the park, they'll learn chainsaw work, slash removal, invasive control, and a lot of the things that are essential to natural resources and conservation management. Job Corps has been a good partner to the town of Bryson City and to the area. They're giving us things that we couldn't do ourselves. We have a very small budget and being a small town, and Job Corps has helped us to stretch that budget out a little bit. And they come here and take down trees and eventually we'll have an area for the citizens to use. It's also tremendously beneficial to the students because it allows the students the opportunity to practice it hands-on, which is fundamentally how Job Corps is different than any other training program is because it's not only the coursework, but using those skills in a real-life application such as here at the park. Today, pretty much what we're doing is um, brush cutting, taking invasive plants out, um, doing a little tree climbing, trying to learn, get more experience on that. We're doing it for the community, and so, you know, people can come out, enjoy themselves. I think it's a really good experience for me. I'm going to take it with me and uh, apply it to a whole bunch of different jobs and things in life. Curlew has the only course program of all the job courses. We have beginning, intermediate, and advanced. And they work to get to certain levels because then they have certain experiences. There's just something about it just like calms you down and then cleaning them calms you down. You know, people just like horses. I'm the leader, so I help out the instructor and teach them how to clean their feet and put on saddles and stuff like that. In Job Corps, I'm studying MOS, Medical Office Support, and I'm trying to take advantage of some of the programs I hear, just trying to get to know myself and connect with nature again, I guess. You have to balance work, recreation, rest. Nice. It all fits together. It's like stress relief. Things like this help keep you busy, and then Job Corps itself is a great program. I'm going to have my diploma, have all this job training, and have a much better chance going out into the real world. In high school, you know, I got too distracted by my social life, so I definitely needed to rebuild my standards. So I came to Job Corps, of course, and I want to be an officer in the Marines, and construction definitely will get you in shape for that. 
I love the trade. I love being active all day. I love being able to work my hands, just doing what people do out in the field. So it's really good. We get phone calls all the time from kids after they got a job to left this place to say thank you. Everything you showed me, everything that we did over there, I'm put it to use. We're really fortunate on the Colville National Forest to have a job course so close by. They're just an incredible asset. Escape route's right back up, up the road. What we saw the Curlew Job Corps doing today was actual firefighting when we need them most in the summertime when our normal crews are stretched fairly thin. It's nice to have a skill set that we know is tested because they're on the forest, we've seen their work, they're a proven product. It's really fun. It's physically challenging. I, I feel like I stand out a little bit and if I do work hard, you know, I make a name for myself. This is my first fire and I believe it's the best experience. I got everything that I could get from any kind of fire. We got the mop up that we're doing right now. Seeing everybody work together is an experience that I just never really thought I'd experience. Minimum wage job, that was all that was in my future before Job Corps and that is all changed. I used to do a nine to five job before I went to Job Corps, but I wasn't happy. Now I absolutely love my job and I'm totally happy with where I went with things. I decided to go through the Curlew Job Corps and you know, I learned so much being there. By the time I was getting ready to leave there, I had nine job offers. I'd say it changed my life basically because I wasn't doing too good until I went to Job Corps. And now I can say I'm doing a lot better. I have a lot more life goals that I want to reach and I just want a better life for myself. It's helping me get there. The secret to Job Corps success is never standing still. Forest Service Civilian Conservation Centers are keeping up with changing employment options by focusing on a green curriculum and on training that complements U.S. Department of Agriculture priorities, such as people's gardens, know your farmer, know your food, and many others. This new focus was evident in the construction of the Camino Real Ranger District Station on New Mexico's Carson National Forest. This innovative construction project provided real-world experience for nearly 600 Job Corps students. With state-of-the-art techniques that also honor the culture and style of the region, this project demonstrates how civilian conservation centers are preparing students for careers in green building design and construction. When you look at the way we can train our students and give the students the best ability to move into the real world, in my mind, this is the way to go. It gives you an idea of what you're going to do. You just don't study it out of a book. You actually get the hands-on feeling of doing it. It was great. The scenery alone was beautiful. And I mean, I was so proud of myself when I went up there because I knew I did a hard day's work. I feel a lot better about myself than I did before. You know, I think it's about time for me to give back to the community when I graduate. The Forest Service Job Corps program produces graduates with a variety of work skills, many of which are in demand throughout the private sector and particularly on national forests and grasslands across the country. Entry-level jobs in office automation, information technology, facilities maintenance, and other areas are helping the Forest Service achieve its mission of caring for the land and serving people. We're giving young people a conservation ethic and hopefully we're helping groom the next generation of conservation leaders. This environment gives these kids an opportunity to get off the streets, to change their lives around, to focus themselves. They're responsible citizens and they're paying taxes back, so it's a great return on the investment in my feeling. If you're hardworking, if you want to get forward in life, then it's definitely a good program. It's definitely a good place where you can find a career. What's my favorite thing about Job Corps? The instructors. Because they actually tell you how to do things and show you. And they help each individual. Right now i got 27 teenagers in their mind. And, you know, it's like I'm a big dad. Every instructor down here is a great instructor. Seeing how they've matured and where they're going to when they leave our camp is, is exciting for me to see. Before Job Corps I was walking around living on the streets. I've really improved in my life. Out here in the country, you just kind of find yourself again. 